So my grandfather, uh, two years ago, passed away, Jerry. And um, last year at this time, we posted a video remembering my grandpa, Jerry. And I told a little personal story. And I don't know what it is about an anniversary of a death. You know, I, I think about him more this time of year, probably because that's when I experienced the loss more than his birthday, which is in November. Um, but recently something happened. And I just wanted to kind of share a little personal story with you. That's something that happened to me that... Um, uh, I don't know, maybe you've gone something through something like this, um, maybe you haven't, but uh, I don't know. The guy said that uh, showing a serious side of me is not necessarily a bad thing, and sharing some personal stories um, are okay. So uh, if you've been watching my videos, you might have noticed um, that I wear a gold bracelet on my right wrist. I have actually had that bracelet since I was about 15 years old, 15 or 16. It was my Grandpa Jerry's. I wore that bracelet every day. Every day, I almost never took it off. I took it off maybe um, just if I was, you know, worried that it would break or something. And um, uh, but but I would say that 99.9 percent .9 of the time I was wearing that bracelet. And recently, um, I was uh, just going for a walk around my neighborhood. It's it's how I think. It's how I clear my head. It's how I come up with a lot of ideas for the videos we do here uh, on the Jerry's uh, Artorama YouTube channel. Um, and it was a particularly warm day for the winter, and I, I guess I just rolled my sleeves up, and uh, by the time I finished my walk, I realized that I had I had lost this this bracelet, this family heirloom, this very um, sentimental thing to me, uh, you know. And um, it's it is interesting how we let things carry essence of people, but it was there, and it was something that because I wore every day. When it was gone, uh, I noticed that every day was gone. I, I literally felt a little naked without it. You know, I would, you know, you move your wrist just like if you have a watch on or something, and you know, you look for that thing for whatever reason, and it just didn't feel right. So I, uh, I told my dad that I'd lost the bracelet. And I was really embarrassed, but he was very understanding about it, and he, you know, basically said that, you know, it's happened to him before, and you know, these things happen. And I, <laughs> I went, I went back. I searched, it was like a two mile loop and I went back and forth. I searched for days, but it was after the fall and there were leaves everywhere and it was just beyond a needle in a haystack. And so I, you know, I tell my father I, I lost it and he was super understanding. You know, he, he said that he's done things like that in the past and was very kind about it. I was, I was kind of nervous to tell him that, Hey, I lost your dad's bracelet, grandpa's bracelet. Um, a few weeks ago, my dad uh, called me. Uh, I was at his house, and he called me upstairs. He says, "I have something for you if you want it." And he showed me uh, this gold bracelet, and um, <laughs> it's it's definitely a little bit a little bit more than the other one was. But I will tell you that I have a lot of memories of my dad, uh, who hasn't worn this probably in decades, while I was growing up wearing this bracelet, and I just thought it was a very kind. Uh, gesture and it does help fill the the gap in the void so as much as this video is I guess remembering my my grandpa Jerry it's also a big thank you to my dad who uh, continues to be a support uh, part of the support team of me and uh, our team and the work we're doing here and uh, I am so thankful for all you guys that take the time out of your busy days to watch and check in on us whether it's for fun or for something more serious uh, I appreciate everybody so thank you so much Thank you.